were coming to fruition. I met a man named Mark Houston when I was 24 years old. I got sent to Austin, Texas. My mom saw Mark Houston on Dr. Phil. Mark had founded Burning Tree, which is this treatment center that you have to, it's a year minimum. It's still open. In fact, some of the guys that used to work with Mark still work there. Mark passed away in 2010, um, unfortunately. But before he passed away, in 2006, he founded Mark Houston Recovery Center. And I got sent there. And I spent more time there than anyone. Um, I set the record, at least at the time. Maybe somebody broke it after. Okay, but so I was there the eight months. <laughs> okay. Yeah, which is not a long time compared to some guys that get incarcerated. It was a cushy place. But it was run by a former Vietnam vet that believed in waking us up at 6.30 in the morning and sometimes 5.30, you know, like, and we did cook crew, we did work before we ate, like, we had to spend an hour every morning, like, weed whacking or, like, you know, pulling weeds or, like, cleaning the house. And, like, he brought discipline and love in a way that was tied into the spirituality based in the 12 steps. But more than anything, he showed us what a man could be. 